Hi, I'm Donna from DonnaOnTheBeach.com and welcome to Ask Donna, the video series where I answer your questions about making your dreams a reality. This week's question comes from Chloe who says, nothing seems to be changing, what am I doing wrong? Okay, so I have two questions for you Chloe and I want you to be really, 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 really super honest, okay? First question is, are you moving your feet? In other words, are you taking action? Because sometimes when we've got a big dream, we do the kind of the first stage. Now the first stage is all about planning and information gathering and kind of really um, daydreaming and visualizing and all this wonderful stuff. And it's great to do that. And it's, um, I wouldn't say essential exactly, but it's useful to have that kind of planning time and visualization time because sometimes when you visualize something you see okay you know what I really don't want that <laughs> you know so you can change it and that's great but there comes a point at which the information gathering has to stop and you have to take action you have to move your feet now if the answer to that question is no then my advice to you is easy get moving Okay, so I talk a lot about the next step, the next baby step, the next little tiny step. And to me, a baby step is something that can be done in like 15 minutes, something like that, just a baby step. If you wanna write a book, a baby step might be to write the first sentence, you know? And often people are like, well, that's not enough. That's not enough, I need to do the whole thing. Well, the thing is, when you do the next step, it's easier to take the next step and the next and before you know it you're just naturally taking lots of action if you don't take any action because you're waiting for the stars to be in alignment the moon to be in Sagittarius you to have the time and the money and the, everything that you think you need to be in alignment before you take a baby step then you're never going to get it done so you have to take action you have to take the baby steps so if you haven't been taking action that's it just take action find the next baby step and do it and then find the next baby step and do that and what i recommend to clients if they're taking no action at all is every day to take one baby step and then if your one baby step is like i don't know say your big dream is to do a college course and your one baby step is to look at one university uh, or one college course um then your next day baby step might be to look up another one. Within two weeks, you've looked at 14 different colleges or courses, and you're, do you know what I mean? You're moving. And what happens is when you start to move, the inspiration kind of builds, and you kind of get like, oh yeah, and I could do that and that and that and that. And the next step is, is revealed and revealed and revealed. And sometimes when we're going towards our big dream, it feels like we're walking on a really foggy road <laughs> and we have no idea what's ahead but all you can do is take the next step and the next step and you move five steps ahead and then you can see another three steps ahead that you couldn't see when you were back at the beginning see what I mean so you need to just keep moving forward keep taking action and do it every day until you're in a habit of it if your answer to the question was yes I am taking action then I have another two questions. <laughs> um, if you are taking action, great, good for you, brilliant. Um, it is my belief that any action brings a reaction, but sometimes we do things and they don't seem to bring a reaction straight away, so then we get discouraged and stop taking action. You need to just keep moving. If you feel like each step that you've taken has been important and useful, just keep moving, just keep taking the next baby step. So if you are taking action, is that action coming from here, or from here, or from your gut? Because sometimes we can take kind of head-led action that doesn't really get anywhere, you know, kind of spinning your wheels action. Whereas if you take the action that's here, if you take the one that, oh, that really feels like the right thing to do, or take it from your gut, take your gut feeling, this is the right thing to do. Those actions are usually more powerful than things that come from thought alone. 
um, thought tends to be very linear and sometimes when we're going for a big dream, often actually when we're going for a big dream, the linear path is just too um, sensible, too logical, too um, limited and you need to really open it up and which I hate the phrase out of the box thinking but you need to kind of really think how like hmm what can I oh I have a feeling that this would be good and you know um, since I've been in business I've taken a lot of actions that aren't in any of the marketing and business books that I've read um, but they've been far more important and far more useful to my business than a lot of the stuff that I've read in the marketing and business books so it's just about um, kind of, I, I feel that you know, deep down, you know the action that you need to take. So get in touch with what's inside you and take that action. Um, and the other question that I want to ask is if you are taking action, and I want you to be really honest again now, if you are taking action and you have been for a while, is it true that there are no changes, that nothing's changing? So I could say that nothing's changed in my business um, because I'm not living on a Greek island in a mansion with a pool and um, a semi-clad butler serving my every need. Um, <laughs> so I could say, well, my business hasn't changed, but that wouldn't be true. In the last eight years since I started my business, what's changed? My level of confidence has gone through the roof. Um, my knowledge of how to run a business and what it takes and marketing. I knew nothing about when I started. I now knew lots about marketing. Um, the knowledge that I've gained is incredible about all sorts of things, all sorts of technology that I never knew. Um, what else has changed? My attitudes have changed massively. I mean, I'd love to go back now and have a conversation with myself from eight years ago just to see the changes because they, I know they are massive, really massive. And often the internal changes are more important than the external changes. And clients most often miss the internal changes. They miss the, the confidence shift. Um, and it's, it's huge, it's a huge deal because if you think about increasing your confidence by 50% from where it is now. Like, wow, that's a big change. And it means it opens up a whole new vista in front of you. Um, for example, eight years ago, I would not have had the confidence to do these videos. <laughs> in fact, thinking about who I was then, not in a million years would I have had the com confidence to do these videos the way I do now. It just wouldn't have happened. So that's opened up a whole new world for me. I also probably wouldn't have done podcasts. Another new world for me. Um, there's a lot of things that I would never have done eight years ago. So it opens up what's possible for you. And those internal changes are often more important than the external stuff. And the trouble is that often we judge ourselves just on the external. So are we earning x more money have we got the mansion in greece with the semi-clad butler you know whatever it is we judge ourselves on that and not on what's gone on inside so back to the question if you have been taking action is it really true that nothing's changing or are you seeing the internal shifts that will make the external shifts greater and more possible because let's face it if you want to be a best-selling author, for example, and you have no confidence, you need to get the confidence before you can achieve that big dream. So if you have got that confidence, you might not be a best-selling author yet, but you are way closer to it than you were before. So there is my answer to the Ask Donna question this week. If you have a question, please get in touch with me. You can either contact me by leaving a comment under this video or you can come to the website, donnaonthebeach.com. You can come to Facebook, facebook.com slash donnaonthebeach. If your question is really short, you can come to Twitter, twitter.com slash donnaonthebeach. I would love to hear your question and answer it in a future episode. 
If you enjoyed these vi this video, or these videos, in fact, any of the videos, please share them with your friends and with anyone who you think, hmm, I know someone who should see this video, please share it with them. And of course, as ever, if you would like more one-to-one -one help in making your big dream a reality, please come along to my website and check out the one-to-one -one coaching options. I'd love to work with you and help your big dream become a reality. Take really good care of yourself and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.